Hello everyone, um, welcome to another Last of Us Part 2 video. Um, today is a very uh, special video because tomorrow we will be getting some solid information on The Last of Us Part 2. And I'm really glad that we are uh, we're getting some new information um, because the past few months have been pretty hard for me. Um, I've lost some family. And, uh, family drama as well, and, uh, I just lost my grandma today, so it's, uh, it's been pretty tough. That's it, it's just been pretty tough. Um, so yeah, I, I just, really, really happy that The Last of Us Part 2 has, uh, some, some information gonna be released tomorrow, and, uh, but yeah. But in today's video, um, I wanna give my thoughts on... State of play, okay? The state of play for tomorrow. If you haven't heard, which is unlikely, The Last of Us 2 will be presented on state of play tomorrow, which is September 24th. And uh, my, I myself didn't even know what state of play was. I, I uh, heard about it throughout the past few months, but I never looked it up until today. Now, uh, state of, uh, to give you the definition of state of play I found on, the, uh, on Google... Um, it's practically PlayStation's video program, which showcases all the latest gaming um, updates, announcements, and new trailers from PlayStation. Um, there will be other games, but uh, we are sure that The Last of Us Part Two will make an appearance because Naughty Dog has released poster teasers. Um, uh, uh, the three posters, I believe, or actually there were four, is one is Ellie's knife, which is uh, one you see right here. Then there's supposedly Anna's mom's um, hammer, which is right here, which is watch your back. We see right here. The next one would be Joel's watch, which is uh, you see the subheading of something Joel said. And then right here is uh, they should be terrified of you. That's something that Dina said. Dina's bracelet. Um, if you actually look back at the gameplay of last year, uh, you will see Ellie wearing the same bracelet. Now, I like to theorize. I think Ellie wearing that bracelet is very similar where Sarah gave Joel his watch. So, I think uh, Dina gave Ellie her br bracelet to, to show her to show her love for her. And I also am convinced that Dina dies and Ellie wears that bracelet as a promise of retaliation or revenge. But back to the point, okay? We got four different uh, teasers here, and they all are from revealed characters from the past three years. You got Ellie, obviously. Then you got supposedly Anna, which some people believe. Um, then there's Joel, and then there's Dina. These are the four characters, the four characters that have been revealed to us. There are many more that were in that last year of E3, uh, E3 gameplay. There's a lot more characters out there, but these are the four main characters, you would say, um, that have a lot of interest, characters of interest. These uh, these these four characters are characters of interest. Um, and I want to go over them for a few minutes. You see the very first one here is Ellie. Now, this is what she said in the very first reveal trailer in 2016 of um, December. She says, I'm going to find and I'm going to kill every last one of them. She said that to Joel. Now, we under we know by what Neil Drummond said about that reveal trailer. That is not an actual scene in the game. That is just to spread the atmosphere of what the game was about and the elements and essence of the game, which was hatred and uh, revenge. Um, so that's the first thing about this one. Now, the second one here is Watch Your Backs, which is something from... I forgot the event. I really have forgotten the event, but it was in October 2017. And it revealed a kind of a trailer of this mysterious woman. Um, many people have, have theorized that it is um, Ellie's mom. Some people have different views. I, I myself don't really know. I don't think she is. I don't think she is. I think she's completely different. Even though she kind of looks like her. But uh, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Um... I can't make my final judgment because I have no idea. But this trailer was very good, but also very dark. It kind of revealed the cult 
the cult of uh, that you will see in the Last of Us Part Two, and and how twisted their religion is, and um, they would like they'll gut people if they're nested with sin. Uh, they're apparently gutted and hang there. We saw that also in the E3 gameplay tra uh, gameplay um, la uh, last year. So yeah, um, and then right after all that happened, you know, obviously. Um, Emily, the leader, dies because uh, uh, Anna, I'm just going to call it that, Anna killed her. And right after all that happened, she says, watch your backs, and then a bunch of clickers appear. And so that's how this all happened. And now, next we have Joel. Now, we haven't seen him yet. Um, I don't know if he's going to make an appearance on The Last of Us 2 tomorrow. Uh, I don't really know. Um, or... Actually, it's today <laughs> when this goes out. And he says, you really going to go through with this? Now, this is a, this is the only line Joel has ever had on The Last of Us Part 2 right now. For what we know, this is all that Joel has said. You really going to go through with this? And he's talking to Ellie. And right after he says that, Ellie says, I'm going to find and kill every last one of them. So uh, this right here is just Joel asking the question, are you really going to do this? Are you really going to go out there and kill everybody? Are you really going to go through with this uh, complete reckless vendetta? Um, so yeah. The next thing that we have is they should be terrified of you, which is Dina's bracelet. Once again, if, if you look at the gameplay trailer of last year, you will see that Ellie is wearing that. And once again, I, do, I believe there's a similarity between that, this bracelet, and Joel's watch. There's a similarity here. You know how Sarah gave it to Joel for his birthday, and she died, and maybe he kept it on her, maybe he kept the watch, uh, because it reminded him of her, or something like that. I remember at the end of the game, end of the first game, um, Joel is talking to Ellie, and says, no matter what, you keep finding something to fight for, and while he's talking, he's holding on to that, that watch, because it's a symbol of hope for him. Um, and I think that this bracelet for Ellie is a promise for revenge. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what I think of everything. And you see that the, 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 the weapon they have goes with them, but what they say as well. So it's very possible that we may get all four of these characters in one trailer, or maybe in many trailers. I don't know. This is a state of play. I haven't really seen a state of play before, so it's going to be a good experience. And I would like to point back to what I said a few, uh, like a beginning near the beginning of the video, when I told you about the state of play and pretty much what they do. Um, the state of play, once again, is to uh, is is a PlayStation video program where you can where they uh, literally release PlayStation's uh, updates on games, on PlayStation games, uh, announcement for PlayStation games, and new trailers for them. Um, and that right there, right there, actually shows you a lot of what could happen. You know, um, a lot of what could happen. You know, um, we could get gaming, video game. We can get some gameplay from Last of Us Part Two. We can get a restate announcement. Uh, we can get we're definitely gonna get trailers. Uh, we can get a lot of things because right after this, right after I think it's like three days later, it's like outbreak day. Two, three days later, it's outbreak day. Right after this event, so uh, yeah, I, I, it's very uh, hard to say, but it just by what the description of set of play is, I think we our chances are high for a trailer. Um, I don't know about a release date. I really don't know. Um, the reason I say I don't know is because October is about to come around. And we got two big games coming out in October, which is uh, Breakpoint uh, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So you got two big games coming out uh, next month. So either it has to come out sometime next year, or it has to come out this month. <laughs> which is very unlikely. So um, so yeah, I, I would think that, play, that The Last of Us, Naughty Dog, would release the release date... Um, on a big event. Um, if it isn't this year, which I don't think it is, I think it's in May. I don't really know if it's in February. Um, I think it's in May, right next to Mother's Day. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, this is just all my... Uh, it's just my thoughts on everything. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm really excited for tomorrow. Unfortunately, I cannot live stream this because I don't, I don't have the software to do that. Um, but what I can do is that I can give you my thoughts before it and after it. So right after today, I'm going 
right after today, I will post my thoughts afterwards and post what I think, and that would be it. All right. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. If you did, um, like um, and consider subscribing. And uh, if you have any thoughts or opinions on this very idea or topic, um, please uh, feel free to post your thoughts and opinions. And with that being said, uh, God bless you.